this spinning reel puts a different spin on angling. With this reel, a U-shaped wire called a bale spins around the spool to wrap the line onto it. The process begins with a cylindrical piece of aluminium. Computerised cutters carve the cylinder into the rotor that spins the bale around the fishing spool. Here you can see the side arms that have been cut into the rotor to hold the bale, as well as the hole that's been cut for the spool shaft. Next, a protective finish is applied to the rotor and the bale is attached. Next, the gear is made by first heating a cylindrical piece of steel in a furnace until it becomes malleable. It's then moved to a press which flattens the cylinder. A mould then descends to press the steel into its final shape. Finally, tools cut teeth into the part to complete the transformation into a gear. Next, the gear housing is forged from an aluminium alloy. The hot piece is driven into the mould to form its shape. A die cutter is then used to trim the excess material from the edges. It punches out the part, which then slides down a chute into a bin. Transferred to the next station, a laser etches the company name and the product number into the part. It's now time to assemble the gear system that drives the spinning action. First, lubricant is brushed onto a gear. This is then positioned in the gear housing screwed into place and checked that it turns freely. A part called a slider is then placed on top of the gear and is attached to the spinning reel's body with thick pins. The slider will move the spool up and down as the bale spins the line onto it. After lubricant is brushed onto the neck of the gear housing, a helical pinion gear is inserted into it. Then over the pinion gear, a roller bearing is installed and a retaining ring is fitted. Next, a wider steel ring is slid onto the outside of the neck and then an outer metal sleeve is screwed in place. The threaded end from the pinion gear still protrudes out of the top. Next, the rotor is slid onto the end of the pinion gear and a bolt secures it in position. The rotor is given a quick spin to ensure it operates smoothly. Next, the main gear is positioned so that its teeth engage with the first gear fitted into the gear housing. A washer is then slid onto the gear shaft. The main axle shaft is inserted and one end is screwed to the slider. Next, pins are inserted into the gear housing, onto which is a part that prevents the main gear from turning in the wrong direction. The spinning reel gear system is now complete. To encase the spinning reel gear system, a side plate is screwed in place. This contains a threaded fitting that will enable the gears to be linked to a handle. The reel spool has a drag system inside, so that the line will slip instead of breaking when pulled by a powerful fish. A drag adjustment knob is screwed to the end of the spool. Finally. The handle is attached to the fitting in the gear body. An automated testing system turns the handle while water flows over the gear body. This exposes any leaks that could compromise the gear system inside. And with that, this spinning reel is ready to reel them in.